<clears throat> good day in this video i am going to take you through a process of programming two stations or models on zeros using codices so now the first step that i need you to do is to go to modeling uh, obviously adding the first station is much easier than the second one so let me show you how to add the second station you're gonna go to model library and go to the pick and place and then you edit and as you can see it flashes with the first uh, machine so you don't want that of course and then after that you then select on edit then you will then be able to to edit it and move it around the way you wish so if you're not satisfied with how the machine uh, sit, uh, sits or blends with another with another machine you can turn it around uh, over here First thing first, you can just put it like this, just to make sure uh, you are sure with your heights and all that. So now the height is sorted. And let's now see from the top. I think everything now is sorted so now you are also able to uh, press the the button control and uh, rotate as, as you want all right I see a gap that been between them but it's fine it looks like the conveyor belt I have blended very well all right so next up uh, we you would need to uh, to establish the relationship between the, uh, the OPC and and this, this. so on, on on my initial video I've shown you how to configure for the for the distributing station and now I want to add the the pick and place onto that so you're going to go to modeling uh, model explorer and you're gonna go to objects open this and you're gonna go to pick and place uh, just double click on it and then on plc just right click and go to properties of the plc and close this section here and after that you just open wide here and then you go to the the control and you select on the drop down there on the bottom you select opc client and then with the opc client you then uh, go to this one you must everything must remain like this opc2 and you need to go to items and then as you know you need to connect after connecting you can also enlarge this also all right uh, I, and then you select, select the first uh, the first input there select it or this uh, input address and select uh, press shift and select the last one and then right click and click on remove assignment so now we are we are blank as you can see so you don't uh, rush to assign as yet we'll assign according to what we are seeing on 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 on, on codices so on on codices then on this side we go to a new project and then you just create a new project maybe i can use a folder this folder and then you rename it in a similar manner you're gonna say say name uh, say uh, for for educational purposes, your surname and student ID are more uh, 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 of importance. So you must always uh, 
you know have those two okay and for the purpose of this video or uh, this exercise we are using the CECCLK and for the purpose of the programming language we are using the letter diagram and I want you also to select the IO link master all right and then you click OK I want you to uh, close the onboard CECC and only focus on the IO link master. So on the IO link master, I want you to plug a device. Uh, you find it under here. The device name is PNI Baloof. Plug it and close. You can uh, plug another one. Uh, plug and select the very same product and uh, add there and then close. So uh, the, 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 these uh, PNIs can be renamed. For instance, if you are you want this PNF to be for the distributor, you can just simply click on it and start typing. Okay. Uh, right. D three. Distribution. Enter. You see that one? Distribution. And then for this one now. No, I don't want this. I want to type. Okay. This one is for peak underscore place. That's it. So now double click on both of them and go to both of them, uh, put them on uh, I.O. mapping, both of them, uh, the I.O. link mapping. OK, and then uh, just close the toolbox for, for, for now and reduce this for now also. And then I want you to select the on uh, use per uh, use parent to change it to enable to device always. And then with even on the second one do the very same thing like that. All right. Okay, so now next up, what you you'd want to do is uh, <clears throat> next up, what you would want to do is to check now with the first one distribution, open it, and it uses uh, address two, address two. You see here. Uh, the uh, the ix two. This uses address two, and then uh, on, and on the output also, you see now, you don't take the first out, output because they say one. So they need to match it. You, you, you need to also use address two for, for the output. So as you can see, they need to be the same. So now we will come back on this one, on on on, on, on the, 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 the machine side. You want to match them now. So you're going to go under codices, under the bits. Uh, which is, uh, I believe, these are the like digital signals, and you're gonna, as you see here, we are at zero, right? Zero bit. So now this is one bit. Now this is two bit. So we want to uh, load these two bits. So you can just scroll down so that they can show in 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 large. So for EB, EB is your 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 inputs your a b is for your outputs so now you select it by clicking control and then you to you take the first one at zero the bit zero there and it seems like they will be highlighting only on the gray gray uh, 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 items there they are all the, uh, the our inputs so you need to make sure that you select on the gray sections only so you right click, you control, you press control, and you start now to select them, select them, select them. The only the e the e's until number seven, and as you can see, they leave a gap. So this is how you can verify whether you took the right thing or not. From the start, they 
the EB2 bit 0 you see and then until the uh, the EB2 bit uh, 7 all right <clears throat> then you just drag and and, and, and and drop drag and drop on your item there and then that's it then you go down to your your outputs now so your outputs are already there also you don't need to stress your outputs are, are there also you don't need to stress and i have a feeling that i made a slight mistake this for the distributor we are not on the distributor i believe we are doing for pick and place so mind uh, my apologies on that so for pick and place we are using uh, the bits four and uh, let's see here uh, we are using the bits uh, 4 for the outputs also so I just need to quickly change that so uh, but this is a almost similar thing for 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 the for the for the <clears throat> for the pick and pay place so I, all I needed to do is to use uh, 4 instead of uh, instead of 2 so I'm gonna go to 4 uh, E Let's start with outputs already because we've placed the, uh, the, 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 the inputs initially. Okay, let's say uh, this one A, you take the white ones as you can see. Scroll down, take the white ones, the white ones, the white ones, and scroll down further until you have all of them. And you see with the spacing that are opening as you are taking them, then you just load them on there. So these are the, the, the bit four. Let's then go down. These are the, 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 the bit two. We don't want the bit two. Then you just click on the, uh, the E now for the, for the input. And then you click on the E like this, like that. Uh, like that like that they they're going to open some gaps as you see they're going to open some gaps as you see there okay and they must be seven I did I take the first one there's your first one there then I'm just going to replace those ones I just hope that it will allow it did it did allow it so then you click on apply and we then close so all our 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 inputs are configured all our inputs are configured and then we we now uh, about to start programming now then now we go back to the to the distributor at this stage you 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 can do the trial and error trying to configure the the inputs uh, one by one and to see which input is which and, 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 and so on. But it's a very tedious task for the purpose of this video. I have prepared uh, a list of, 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 of inputs. I took, it took me a very long time to try and configure these, uh, these inputs and outputs and I've differentiated them uh, according to uh, pick and place and also uh, according to the panel I will try to avail them on my video also and with my students I'll try to avail them on the test also all right <clears throat> so then we have program here before I go to program I'm thinking to add uh, the add the system symbol configuration okay it's very important after that you just build there shouldn't be any errors as you are building then you just click select these two and you go to settings you select enable direct io okay this one we don't need it anymore you can just uh, terminate it for now all right and 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 the inputs you can just close them also we i don't think we're going to need them you, just, you can just uh, close them like this only in case you need them because they help us whenever we want to really tell where we made a mistake all right so the other thing is we need the 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 the, the, pro, the plc program now where we are writing the program we have this 
and we can just copy and we can just paste uh, paste uh, copy and paste so I want uh, um, I've created a PLC 1 and PLC 2 all right so this program one and this program two so now to make my life easy I would uh, rather rename these things to uh, this one is distribution distribution then click enter and it must be like that and you say okay then this is a distribution program and then you come here and, uh, and rename also this side all right uh, it's your pick and place program pick and place program you say enter and then you say yes and you click ok there but now as you can see under the main tasks we only have one so that is a problem we need to drag the pick and place also to be available this side and for the sake of uh, sequence rather we put it like this we just swap them around okay so now the variable time now let's do the variable put them on the other screen and uh, obviously you must always click enter there you must always click enter there okay then take for the for for the distribution first take everything copy and paste all right and go to the pick and place copy everything for the pick and place okay copy and paste number one then we are set and done now we are programming we've reduced uh, uh, that uh, configuration time by doing this move all right and then the other important part is you can uh, add now the lines so, so that you don't get any confusion otherwise you're gonna program from the wrong side all right so now let's start with the distribution what is it that we want to achieve with the distribution i can safely close this right and i zoom the distribution i can see that i need to extend this cylinder and push out the product and then i want to uh, start my my system using this the conveyor belt using this uh, sensor and it will go and when it gets here i want uh, to activate this uh, P, uh, P, uh, what is it uh, i want to activate this uh, conveyor belt and as i reach to this uh, sensor i want to switch off the conveyor belt to this side and as i go along i want to get up to there so if i can just achieve that 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 that, that program for now then the rest i can as i go along to them so now let's see under distribution i want to then throw a simple straightforward program mm, this and then click there add again so for for start and stop these are the two our stop button is a normally closed therefore we keep it as normally open and then uh, 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 what's going to stop us which uh, i believe it's the sensor next door that's going to stop us uh, the sensor next door is uh, uh, we can leave it as normally closed and then and then our 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 okay no i am wrong here okay we don't talk about the conveyor before the the cylinder because products are sitting in the cylinder so that was a mistake so but these are fine because we want when we get uh when we get uh, here this this sensor here when it's good when it gets activated we want to 
we want to to the cylinder to retract so the cylinder is a single acting cylinder and we need it to retract so when it when it, when it extend and when you turn off the power it retracts because of it has a spring return mechanism inside it so now we then uh, create our loop or uh, the so-called uh, latching or retainer so this is my q you can also ref always refer it's my q0 my conveyor forward q0 enter and this one q0 enter then this one is your start button obviously it's my i think it's it's p0 enter this one is my p1 p1 enter then this one is my 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 cylinder uh, sorry uh, let's do this so that we can see more stuff some programs are not important as long as you see your your variables there your uh, my 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 cylinder advanced is i5 so i5 can it do this that's as simple as that so you press alt f8 and then uh, oops 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 it seems like there is a problem with connection right not a problem not a problem don't worry we have never logged in for the first time so in order to do that you go to simulation and you go to log in after that then yes i want to download then if there are no errors then you know that you are making progress and it, luckily there are not uh, no errors so you press shift so to shift this and then zoom out uh, the the scroll button i can just turn around this and maybe take it down I'll press play here and load some items da -da -da, and press start press start 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 uh, q0 is a conveyor belt q0 is your conveyor belt I forgot that, I don't know how, but it's fine. Q0 is your conveyor belt, you don't want the conveyor belt, you want the... This must go away. You actually want the, the Q4, the cylinder extend. How did I miss that? Q4. Q4. Right, and then let's see if... Alt F8 will work now. Alt F8 does work, right? So now let's see if now we can do our program. This does respond, which is the stop button. Now let's see for the start button. The start button disconnects. Okay, let's go to play. Do not forget the play. The start stop button does respond, and then the play now perfectly does go forward and place our 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 product there All right so now what we need now we want the the the, the conveyor belt to go forward right just to log out for now and then when i5 is active log out when i5 is active what do we want to achieve we want to say when i5 is active we want to see uh, this the, the 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 stop button and we want to see uh, uh, maybe let's just say conveyor belt running uh, q0 now running and then i5 now i made a mistake there uh, i5 enter and what do you want to see here your p1 all right and then obviously you need to in uh, uh, retain this signal by saying q0 here all right so the the plc will run but to what point is it going to run it must run until the other sensor on the other side starts to to kick in which sensor is that one? We're gonna look for it this side. Uh, it's a sensor 
this one my i0 that side so this one is going to be uh, like this click on it i no nope. peak underscore please full stop the first one there right i0 like that so now let's download the program and observe what will happen alt f8 does it go i5 q0 q0 we don't have a signal from i5 what's wrong with i5 no we don't work with i5 because i5 is the inside there we've crammed the normal way of programming cramming is not good use logic uh, this i5 is not i5 but is uh, point b Yes, it's point B there, which is I1, I1, enter, and download, you'll see that this will run automatically and it will eventually stop there. So now the other thing that is very important, you need to determine, would it cross, should something happen, which side is biased to, it looks like it's more biased on the other one, so probably it might cross. I hope so. It will cross. So it does get stopped there. Lovely number one. So, so now what is it that I want to achieve? And and I want to start the other conveyor belt. I will gladly appreciate to start it this side, not the other one. So this side I'm going to sing conveyor belt start so my conveyor belt is going to be uh, right click there and put your start the conveyor belt from which signal the signal in the past in the previous conveyor belt I want to start I want to see the the stop button is very important safety 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 first then now after where am I going I'm going to point B which is I1. Okay, I'm going to stop there. Then after that, where am I also? Uh, uh, the, 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 this one. All right, and then we create a loop and then we loop this, which is Q0, enter. Uh, and then this one, Q0, enter. And then this one, we are borrowing it D3. Fusion dot. We are borrowing what point? All right. Do they have point A, point B, point C? We want to borrow point C. And point C is normally open. It's very important to remember that. So we're just going to borrow it for now. It will find it now. Point C. Uh, it's normally closed. It's very critical to know these things. So I am okay. I didn't open my stuff. Uh, uh, well, I hope that I will remember to amend it later on. Point C. It's normally closed. All the point C's are normally closed, actually. Just remember that. You're gonna have issues if you don't treat it properly. So now we said point C. Perfect. Now my we are borrowing this three Bushin. We are borrowing the stop button from that side. Dot the stop button is P1. Uh -huh. And we are going to point B, this side of ours. Point B is I1. Right. So can we get there? I don't know. 
let's see indeed we can go there and then there's one thing that you if 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 one can realize is the fact that uh, this this doesn't really uh, uh, get to this point because that's the reason why it doesn't stop so there's a need for me to add something uh, the stopper which is the q2 let's add the stopper by coming here and now you add uh, the output uh, which is q1 no two stopper now and then you can just confirm there right perfect let's see uh, if the stopper will allow us the stopper should allow us okay i believe that the stopper did allow us we didn't really reach properly there what we can do is put a timer here and just to make sure that we, we stop in the right position so we can just put a timer there so let's uh, this system is already latched too, so we're gonna get a full signal out of it so then let's rather use it with something that is beneficial remove it and put a timer i believe an off delay timer would work uh, this is your off delay timer like this just to hang it there and that 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 is very important don't change this uh, rather say enter so that it can bring you here and you say okay then you see now it goes on to your list there which is this is what you need so on your timer now on your time configuration you would say t hashtag maybe say one second one s enter like this this one delete it you don't need it all right then from there okay i don't know why i'm not getting any response I should be getting a response so that I can hook something here. All right, lovely. Then now we can we can see a Q2 like that. Right, let's repeat now. And uh, let's go to edit mode edit mode we now take our work piece oh this is running oh lord let me start afresh then we don't need to move anything i thought that this was has stopped running but it's fine it's fine let's then uh, go to edit mode uh, uh, sorry this is on it should be on perfect and then I can just let another part come in like this. Then they go. Here we go. Here we go. Delete. No, 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 no. What's wrong? Do I need to? Why am I still positioned in a wrong area? No, 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 no. That's not right. It can be. <sighs> this thing seems like it must always stop in the right place. It's not good. It's absolutely not good what it's doing here. Mm, let me let me let me let me let me do this let's let's see what will happen 
load 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 and then okay let's go there hmm so by the look of things there is no need for us to close the stopper by the look of things there's no need for us to close the stopper we should just let the stopper open basically because we are not being positioned properly so we'll close after okay all right all right what we can do is to avoid the collision between the stopper uh, let's delete let's delete the stopper situation I see the issue there. All we need to do is to to create a simple signal for the stopper by the look of things. There, okay. I'm just going to disrespect this badly. I'm going to create a stupid program and deactivate the stop i don't need the stopper for the purpose of this i'll put my p my history p shin dot p1 yes and yes and then i will put my my stopper there q0 so like this I put it myself the the thing because it's on so it's gonna rem let the stopper to to remain on and then we do the business of the day i don't need the stopper because by law it's supposed to adjust this nicely what it did there was very stupid basically it was unnecessary uh let's see now oh did i say q0 yeah oh what i'm doing is crazy also Let's say two then. Right, and then we download. And then let's see. Let's see, let's see, let's see. Let's go. Perfect. We got where we want to go. And if it happens that we need to cut the signal, we will also affect the stopper there. Let's see. The stopper was supposed to push the product it then it doesn't it doesn't make sense that but it's fine i don't need any fancy drawing to to take out that this you can just put it on top to avoid that stopper to doing funny things uh, and then what i need to clarify also is am i sitting or am i standing in the right position all right When I put it, it looks like that. It looks like uh, it looks like I'm not. Let's see. <coughs> Apologies for that. <coughs> Let's see. Now it's fine. Let's activate the other process. <coughs> we'll add a delay on this uh, on 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 the on delay just to make sure that we are safe. <clears throat> okay <clears throat> but from here it doesn't look straight it doesn't at all it doesn't look straight but it will tell us it's not a problem from here uh, we now move to another phase of the program uh, one problem we are facing here we have only one sensor there <clears throat> so which means that when we are going down we don't have something to cut our signal so we need to go down in advance so what it means is what it means is uh, oh all right when we are reaching this area we need to this needs to go down and then when we are reaching here it needs to go up and come forward and 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 come and and close whatever that it needs to do so 
so what I am basically saying is when I get when I get to to here my I a point a so I'm just okay uh, this was supposed to be under can I move it uh, I remember I, I, I was able to cut no, 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 control that is fine. It's fine there. It's fine there. Uh, <clears throat> let's put an input which is a point A, and let's put an output which is the, 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 the downward. Okay, and <clears throat> Let's put uh, okay. I'm going to suck in a, in a different way. So let's say this is my I1, and this is my Q6, Q6, which is going to be stopped by uh, okay, our the usual guy okay this i want it this is very important i want it and i want also a normally open so copy this escape and paste it here and uh, when you paste you you say enter and then this one here is your you add your i2 i1 actually uh, this is my uh, point b All right so it's going to cancel this at point b so it's going to cancel this at point B, which is uh, let's think Q6. When it gets there, then it will go up. Then, uh, when it gets the here also, before it goes up, it can even also suck, start to suck, or it sucks when it when when. Uh, well, let's see. No, 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 no. This is point zero. Point A. Uh, I zero. Yeah. So it can start sucking uh, there also. It can even start sucking there. But <clears throat> let's see, I2 is the reason why it must suck. It's going to be a problem. Let it suck also there. We have nothing to lose. We're going to have problems that will require us to do funding programs that we don't want at the current moment. Okay, so let us put the suction uh, ability. So this is how we are putting the suction ability. So uh, the very same input here, I0. I0 is the one that will enable, obviously, this. Okay. And I won't stop the suction until further notice. I'll long stop it with the uh, with the uh, with with P well uh, no the big guy there. And what is this? This is my suction. Uh, the suction will be Q7. Q7 enter and go underneath there and put your Q7 like this. Perfect. This is lovely. Put your Q7 like this, okay? And then Q7. I don't. I'm not interested in stopping it for now. I'll stop it after I do my transverse program. So let's see now. Let's see. Let's see. Let's see. Let's download this program. Uh, would it go and pick up a product, a part, basically? That's what it we want, okay? Before we start with the advanced programming and all that, okay, it's, I say uh, Alt F8. Yes, let's see. Let's see, let's see, let's see. Then this side, we say start. Right, let's go back. Go back. Up actually, we can come closer and bring it. Uh -huh. uh, load, load, okay. And we need to see our program, how it will play out. Okay. That. Okay. Go forward. 
all right it did go down and up but the only thing that i don't know is whether it was going to do this let's see if i put it on editor mode and i move this thing back uh, this all right back ah you're stupid uh, oh let's stop the program Stop the program. Editor mode. Ah, okay. It's fine. It's fine. It's fine. But, oh, again, okay. I could just yeah, stop and then start. Let's see. Uh, Suction is not taking place. What's wrong? Point A, point A. It did pass point A there. Let's see. Oh, I could just delete the work pieces instead of starting afresh. So, stop. Why are we having something running non-stop now? I don't understand, but it's fine. Let's do this. Let's observe what's happening. It does go down, it comes up. What I don't get is why it's not... The suction is working. Why doesn't it take a bribe apart? Okay, I want to observe this. I was not observing, paying attention. Let's stop. Okay. Let's go to editor mode, take the part, delete it. I come out of editor mode, take this, okay. Okay. Why am I not taking the part? What's wrong? What's wrong? Why am I not taking the part now? I had all the time in the world to suck that thing, but I'm not sucking it. What's wrong? Why is that the case? And Q7 is active. This doesn't make sense. <laughs> this doesn't make sense. All right, let's go again. Take the part, throw it away. Remove out, go out, out of this mode. Uh, okay, let's run it. Um, okay, there. Okay, let's see. Go down, ta, take a part. Hmm. What do you want? That I'm, I'm, I'm not familiar with, with what it wants. So, but. What is important is we are able to pick up, so we are able to go down and we are able to activate Q7. Let's leave that for now. Some things we're just going to cause unnecessary stress. Uh, so from there, when now, when I get now to I, when I get now to I, All right. Uh, now I am going to stop this.
Uh, let's see now. <clears throat> let's see, let's see, let's see, let's see here. When we are there, uh, this thing does go down, okay, and it does go up, right? Then all it needs to do is to go forward. So let's do it forward. Uh, put the input, put the the one for for the stopper, the big guy, paste him, enter, and so we are ex we are extending basically we are extending. So as we are extending, we are expecting to to stop at. Um, Cylinder extend here at A. Which is I five. I five. Cylinder extend. Yeah. Okay. And then this is okay. You, it depends how you call them. So the cylinder in, cylinder B here. So this one we named it uh, cylinder B. Actually, this needs to change. So, right. Okay. And then this one was the output for your your your, your cylinder extend. Your cues now, putting the cues. Uh, Q5. Five. Yeah, Q5. 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 All right, perfect. And then uh, when we get to Q5, this one is my I, I1, actually, I1, which is my point B point B like this and then we are going to loop let's loop like this and then uh, we have Q5 Q5 enter all right then now what is remaining now what is remaining now is it goes forward it stops when the cylinder is extended. Uh, does it do that first of all? Before we send it down, because after here we need to send it down. Okay, indeed it does do that. So now it does do that. It does do that, which is good. And then does it? And then after that, when it reaches I five, it must go down. When it reaches I five, it must go down. It goes down for the second time. All right. Uh, when it reaches the, uh, here, uh, there, it must go down for the second time. So it's not easy to repeat inputs outputs i mean you're going to have issues but we're going to compensate that now now so it must go down uh it's going to go down like this input uh, this is i5 uh, this uh, the the big guy from the other side and uh, and we're going to as we are going down the nice part with this uh, process of going down let's see q6 
right, we need to run this, this, this going down on a timer, in fact, right? So we can run it as a, as a memory. So it won't, it, it only thing that will, 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 will de determine its lifespan is, is the, the timer, is the timer. So what will happen is when i5 is on, we are not going to switch on the, 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 the. we're going to switch on the memory now. Uh, let's do this, a memory like that, which is M0. No, you can't do it like this. <laughs> M0. Right. Remember, this one is a bit tricky. We don't have a sensor at the bottom of the whole thing, so we can't say we will uh, we will, will 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 reset this. You can't reset it, so we don't need because i5 is is on. Uh, uh, on a full time basis, basically. So when i5 is on we will go down, isn't it? So like here, we will go down, we will go down, we will go down. Okay, this will activate. And then how will it deactivate? Uh, probably we can say it 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 this will go down it will activate a timer on delay actually you'll see now so this is gonna go down like this this like this okay and then on delay are there Right, so we are having a guaranteed time of maybe, we don't know how long this thing can can, can take going down. So when I have an on delay there and our timer of T three seconds, a hashtag three seconds. Right, and then this one we just delete it. So this timer, this timer is the one that is going to switch off uh, the Q6, basically. So I need a memory here, another memory M1, like this, enter, okay, and then, <clears throat> and then um, the, our down, this one, This will turn it off here, actually, here. We'll turn off this here, because this is gonna be turning on the, the, the this thing. But for now, let's leave it like that. Let's then create another memory on the downward, because this is very good that we're having it, but we can't repeat it easily like this. So it's going to be M2, okay? like this and we're having it m2 like that which is good then now 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 we need to start adding pages uh, uh, 
how did I move this before? Can I say add uh, below? Okay, and rather remove this. All right, okay. So we add below. Da -da -da. Okay, so we are now going to create those memories now. They must come and activate this. So this is going to be the memory. For instance, memory, this memory, it was supposed to be the first memory, M2. We start with M2, memory at M2. Okay, and we are going now to have our actual Q6 here. Q6, we're switching on in a very dodgy way so now memory from m2 gonna switch on q6 for the first time and memory from this uh, funny connection here this one uh m m0 i think yeah m0 yeah m0 here it's going to switch on so now the whole process through i5 will be because otherwise it's not going to come up will be broken by its own very timer on delay so the on delay is going to come here so uh, the m1 the, the signal of m1 uh, we're going to put it like this then the signal at m1 is going to cut itself then from there this must go forward if it does do that successfully let's see let's see download program and observe one two three Okay. This is telling me that uh, the signal from I5 is still permanent. So what I'm getting, I'm not getting a, 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 retain, a retentivity. So you can put a latching relay or maybe attempt to do this. Uh, 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 let's attempt to do this. Edit it. Oh, Lord. Oh, Lord. Oh, Lord. Oh, Lord. No, 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 no. Let's attempt to do to do this. Uh, right click. Uh, how do I get to its properties? Like now, not this. This. No. You could change. Uh, You could change the properties as you were installing it so that it can it can can retain, but nevertheless, instead of uh, retaining, let it uh, let it then uh, call for a latch. Then a latch will come just over here. We need a latching relay. Latch will come here. No, like, yes, like this. Yes, then with this ledge, this ledge, we now going to hook up the memory there. Mm -hmm. M zero. And let, let 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 the big guy uh, be the one who turn it off, turn off the latch there. So now, what does this mean? Is we're going to have a, t a, a, a time delay of of three seconds. As soon as we switch on, we then remain off. Actually, it's M1 here. M1. We remain on for, off forever. So we're going up forever. And from there, M0 is there. Then this is, is back at I6. 
we can take the signal at I6 when we train them together, we would say I6 plus that signal, it needs to take us back and to take the conveyor belt forward. But let's leave that for now. Let's focus on this on this mess we've just created here. Can it work? The tiny layer, okay, and then go up. Oh, this is on, it won't work because remember, this is a, it's a latching, we don't want it, we know it, it's best if we get it as a, this is a reset. This is a reset, therefore we must put a normally closed distribution there, paste. Remember, on our copy, it's still there. So then let's download. This is becoming way complex, I understand. But try to follow it and consult if you are unsure. So now let's see. It did go up perfectly. It did count. It is now up. Here's it, yeah? It did go up. All right. Lovely. Lovely. So. Only thing that disappoints me is the fact that it can't pick up the product there. But otherwise, uh, nothing, everything is cool. Uh, let's go to edit mode there and take this one, delete it, and come out of the edit mode and stop, 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 stop. One, two, three, uh, go up. Okay. So let's see. This, ta-da. Then we go, we go, we go. Uh -uh. Oh, we still need to go back. Remember that. That's why we are having this issue. We still need to go back. All right. So the only way is to switch it off like this and switch on, on again and then off, off. Confirm if it didn't move. Yes, looks like it didn't move. Yes, perfect. And then put your watches. And put your products. And. All right. And. Let's see this. Okay. Uh -huh. Then it must go up. One, two, three. Perfect. Now it must go back after these three seconds. So one fact that is explicitly in your face is the fact that this Q0 here needs to change to be a memory four or three memory depending how many memories you've used already i believe is memory three let's just edit memory three memory three declare it and then you use it here memory three perfect so now your q zero it's out all, all of the picture now so now we're going to go back with it now so uh, uh leave that 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 q zero there and leave it there let's now focus on going back remember we we are now uh, at i6 so it's going to be uh, the signal at I6, I6, and the signal at the signal at the M0, not M0, but M1, yeah, M1, and what also, and what else, and what else, and what else, our our big daddy, uh, copy paste enter and then what with this said we need to return back now we want to return back uh, 
we want to return back. Uh, we are returning back with Q4. Uh, Q4. And we just retain this. Q4. All right. All right. All right. All right. All right. All right. So the signal at M1, because it's this, this uh, funny drawing that we did here. Close this. The signal at M1, uh, can't we reach? Yeah. Yeah, now it's much better. Yeah. All right. Mm, I'm making it much more. Okay, it's fine like this. The signal at M1, that's the one we are carrying over here. Nope, this, it cannot be like this. Uh, actually, I can just delete this and put it here. Signal at M1, M1. It is an end function. I6 and M1, when they're together, we are going back to Q4. At Q4, we're going to be stopped by a normally closed uh, individual. It's uh, I, I who? The only I we didn't use so far. I is uh, the retract. This one. I4. So, going to come there and say I4. Then after that, while you add on that, the, 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 while you add on that, just let's just go forward also. The, we created a memory, don't forget, memory of uh, uh, for, for, Q, for Q0. Q0 can only go forward like this, Q0. And we don't loop anything on Q0, but we are creating friends now. The, mm, let's think now. Memory 3, M3, the one that we created on top. And the one we've created on top and I can just uh, I need another one the one that will function with this signal here the one that will function with the signal here but I'm thinking that if I say Q4 Remember, these, I'll take the signal there. And then there's absolutely no need for me. Maybe there is. Nope, there is. Nope, there is. Let's create another signal. Uh, and then insert the network on top. Network, insert network. Why do I do this? How do I say this? Network below? No, on top. Yeah, I want on top. So... I'm going to create a dummy uh, quick signal that uh, it's not that important for the memory that we must put here because I see that we do have a problem. Uh, and uh, let's just say output and then memory five. Show so many memories. Memory four. All right. And then it's going to be activate. No, don't worry about the activation first. Let's start by saying uh, hmm? loop. It must loop. It must definitely loop for like this. And uh, uh, it must get the signal from I6. I6 and also from M1. So and it needs to be be able to stop by from the big guy. Oops. Control V. Enter. And its official stop is point C actually. Point C. Uh, 
others would put a timer here i would put an off off delay so that it stops after two seconds some sort you see so ooh, this is becoming a bit of a challenge now for me to think out of it and 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 it's going to stop by 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 it's a normally open signal first of all the last symbol uh, which is i3 or i2 Let's say enter check it point c normally open so it's going to stop by uh, point c so but not just only to stop at point c i want it to pass i want it to pass that point so i will definitely need an on on delay of delay to do that two of the two seconds of delay so i have to force to the project uh, view and i need toolbox i need an off delay to come right here yes hmm, something very complicated that i'm doing here right this one we always delete this remember always delete that and now we're gonna put it uh, your two seconds to time t2 nope two t hashtag 2s right now now when i2 is pressed when i2 is off then this will start to run one two and this i normally they come with the retainer on themselves so i hope it will retain And then after that, it will switch off after falling, after two seconds after falling. Then this signal here is the one that comes here, M4. And it, it qualifies to cut the signal of to help to cut the signal here. But otherwise, just leave it like that. I think we have made it too be too complex. Even my brains are uh, starting to 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 fry up now. Let's download and see if it's gonna go forward. Alt F8. Enter. Stop and start afresh right and what will happen is I can't start this thing without I want to zoom there okay start we're going forward Ta we place one two three go up ta you are failing to go backwards why are you failing q4 is on okay it looks like q5 is also on q5 is on all right this is clever now if q5 is on all right we have this signal i1 that is switching on q5 we are still at i1 so we need to cancel it there we need to turn it off we can only turn it off from with a signal from m1 because i can see it is still forward it's still uh yeah it's still there you see so yeah right that uh, signal at M1 must come here and close this. Stop. Q5 
this uh -huh, signal at M1. Whatever. Do this. M1. Confirm M0, no M1. Okay. And download. Now it's just troubleshooting. You see, it goes back successfully, but it can't go forward. And uh, but to cancel this, to cancel this, we need a signal at, of the timer. M1 again. We need the signal of M1. No, no, no. no. Where's that uh, time? Uh, I think this is the crazy signal that we need. The signal here. It must come and cancel this, this action. Because we go down and then we give 3 seconds on delay. After 3 seconds, we then switch ourselves off. And then we then go to, yeah, we, we need to cancel this one also just in case if we have, uh, we are able to load, to, to carry the watches. So we need to cancel this signal also. Uh, using M1. M1 is very powerful. That signal we created in M1, it's very powerful. This one is very powerful. And... Alt F8 enter. So now, the only thing that uh, I still don't understand is why this thing is not going forward, but which is not a transmission. The suction, I believe, is stopped. The M signal at M1 is still going strong. The only thing I don't know. The conveyor belt is running. <laughs> the conveyor belt is running, you see. But it looks like this is blocking it. This is blocking it, so it needs to, to turn. It needs to turn. So, the signal of who? M4 or what? When we decide to, when we decide to go on to uh, go up, I think here. Yeah. When we decide to go up, we use that signal M1 to to do a lot of stuff. Yeah, when we decide to go up, then it means yeah, 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 yeah. It means we can twist. Let's twist. We have, let's switch off this guy. Ooh, yeah, and M1, uh, M M1, yes, M1 also, uh, turn him off with a signal from M1, M1, yeah, M1 is very powerful, I'm still saying, Alt, do that, and this will go, definitely go forward, and I hope it will stop after, goes forward it doesn't stop okay but it does go forward successfully I think that's what matters now using the signal there at M1 so, how do we then stop our conveyor belt? Is to definitely let this thing to be able to count. It requires a latch. Uh, basically, what's happening is uh, can I use uh, on what? Are, what is this for? Okay, the current moment is on like that. And then I thought that, 
when I two uh when I two when I two this one when this C at point C when it passed there it didn't really count down. You get my point. From when and on delay, uh, I'm out of what type of a latch do we need? We need a, some sort of latching mechanism there, unless. I thought this was going to switch off this, but it doesn't switch it off. So this uh, TO must go. So signal at I2. It's not affected. That's why the, this one won't run because it doesn't uh, uh, probably opposite of ledge here. Normal status you are on, and then when you press you only once, you'll remain off, and then this will delay. What? This is above the student's capabilities. Okay, let's use that opposite of uh, uh, latching. So for my students, don't go further than this. Don't go further than this. I think I'll give you 100 if you did this. So, but for myself and my viewers at home, let's continue. Let's see if I will win. I've never used this. Uh, this RS, this SR. Am I in the right place? Let's see. Yeah, the set and reset, and then this is mono flip, mono mono flop, the main reset. All right. So now, put it just here. Yes. So it's going to do opposite. I wanted to do opposite. So and this uh, this is on. Yes. Then the big guy will stop it there. Let's see if I will win. All right. Alt eight. Mm -hmm. Right. All right. This this rain it switch off. This one is off. Perfect. So let's turn off. All right, this is good. Uh, but looks like M3 is running. What is running M3? Who is M3? Signal from where? Where is this signal coming from? We have nothing there, man. Relax. I2. I2, let's sit here. Okay, but before I forget what I'm trying to do, I2 is I2, distribution I2, who's this? It's normally closed. When I leave it like this, ah, it's going to be a problem. Uh, it must be like this. And then copy it and paste. And then delete perfect and then we're gonna come here this one we are putting it as normally closed okay then we say i2 all right now this is challenging me mentally now let's see uh if i lose control of my program whoa 
and then control uh, alt download yes right stop everything okay nothing must be running except this true yes perfect nothing is running indeed so let's go okay we are there sucking then taking and placing okay this is the wrong area though then we are unable to move forward why are we unable to move forward <sighs> okay this is doing opposite now uh, obviously this is a problem this it does opposite here whenever you are resetting on a ledge ledge of function all together opposite including the fact that this ledge is crazy I to rather I do this for argument's sake and I load and I load them. All right, let's see. And then I see problems here. This is supposed to be okay. Okay, it went back. No, it's not it's not doing what is right. Okay. One, two, three, go up, then you can move. M4 is not it's no longer functional. Mm. Right, so this is how I'm going to solve M4. Imagine we don't need to stop M4. We leave it like like that. Then we create a, a signal here with the latch actually, uh, because M4 is normally closed. You must always remember that. So create a signal here. View toolbox SR. You place it there. Then we take uh, this. Okay, this must be a. This must be a like this. U I two. Opposite, opposite. And the big boss here. Paste. And we just create a dummy signal, unfortunately. We'll have to create a dummy signal, which is M5. Right, and then, so now the signal here is going to stop there. So it's going to be a normal signal, but now with a timer on delay, timer there. Mm -hmm. and then the T hashtag two seconds right then this is going to be M5 mm -hmm. and then And the watch is also all right and then oh we forgot something no we forgot something this is a delete right now 
uh, Alt F8 download this it's a opposite signal the big boss then delete alt f8 right uh, according to this it says the conveyors are running now the conveyors are no longer running which is good 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 right so now okay put okay go up one two three go forward ta, and then let's see one two three and stop the conveyor belt perfect 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 this is good This is good. And then the latch, the latch, who's going to turn off the latch is the, the stop button, obviously, always. The stop button. So only problem is it doesn't grab these things. That is not clear why it doesn't, but it doesn't matter for as long as it goes with what we want it to go and it goes with confidence so yeah this is how our program looks like for those at home okay then let me test one more time uh, Okay, what is important is what we're going to see when it gets here. Okay, right. Right, it goes down and bring up here. And one, two, three, and then it starts to go lovely and it stops. Perfect. This is good. This is good. So, so is it like that? It can be repeatable. All right. Perfect. That signal at 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 this it can be amended to put a bit of a delay. But the one that I don't have answers with is this one. Probably next time it will run. So this is our program. Uh, we've reached the end of it. Uh, subscribe if you need any assistance and i will definitely be of your help thank you so much